he's a legal practitioner as well and um abraham aliba good morning to you this is your green smoke dear you have to order one for me or? you know i have a couple of them mm. um, i'm a lover of smokes so yeah it's not far fetch if you say you want one i can get you one but but did i hear mm. that in the ejisu by election the mpp was distributing weed to people to vote for them is that where we are going to, <laughs> we'll come to that conversation is that where we have gotten to in this country <laughs> roland it's not a laughing matter i know i know after that's why we're bribing people with money now you are bribing them with we we haven't started the conversation huh? but that is the image of this country is sinking under this administration that's terrible well, so make sure you join us as well because it's one of two of the conversation we'll be having. And the first one is about all post the Ejusubai election and all those elections and the actions of the Electoral Commission that we seem to have observed. Does it seem to be eroding the trust of the Electoral Commission in the run up to the 2024 general elections? And so let me just do my last introduction. Lawyer Kwame Jantua. Good morning. Thank. How are you? I'm very well. Great. How are you? Great. Yeah. So let's have a conversation. And, and you know all that transpired, the concerns that had been raised post the Ejusuba election. The Electoral Commission say investigations were underway. Two individuals apparently had said that, well, they received the envelope from the Member of Parliament, uh, Kinsley Nyakun. Dr. Kinsley Nyakun then also saying that um, there was no money in the, they said, it was just lunch, etc. But we're talking generally about the electoral commission and then also its image, its actions in itself prior to the 2024 general elections. And uh, Dr. Jokumo Bing, how are you? Good morning. Good morning. What do you say to uh, the initial conversation on the subject? All right. Um, good morning to Mr. Janto and good morning. Mr. Maliba and yeah. our viewers who have joined us um, this morning. So clearly, we are making mountain out of a molehill. Mm. Um, considering what happened in If indeed um, a member of parliament sought to bribe any EC official, I mean, a whole lecturer, former lecturer of the University of Ghana, he's smart enough not to do it in, in, in public, in such an open place. And his reason for giving out such envelope clearly stated, and except people want to um, be mischievous about it, you can clearly tell that indeed the member of parliament was just trying to be human. And he asked if the people had eaten as a den, and the people said, no, they're actually hungry. So he just read his packets. I mean, MPs, uh, MCs, I mean, even normal individuals, we travel with some petty cash in, in, in our packet. And we don't have to do good to people because of political inclination or political benefit. So clearly, um, the member of parliament did it out of humanitarian grounds to help assist the ECU officials to get food to eat. In elections, we see it all the time. Mm. All political parties, through their reps, I mean, send packs of food to their representatives at the polling station and by extension, giving some to ECU officials. So it's not the first time. Had it been food, would we be here to say that the member of parliament sought to bribe any ECU official or induce? Um, him or her with monies. But of course, we expected such, um, such spin and malicious um, intent, clearly, from the opposition and DC. And going back, uh, just a few trips um, uh, down memory lane, Mr. Mahama is on record to have stated times with that number, here and he was president, that our electoral commission is one of the best we have on the continent and earned some accolades across the world. And anytime anyone criticized the EC, Mr. Mahama did not spare any moment to remind us that Electoral Commission then was very competent and was up to any task that um, the EC had to execute. He even, in most occasions, would tell people, have your say and let the EC have its way. But after losing the 2020, 2016 elections, Mr. Mahama took on a new cloth, became a new person, led the NDC onto a path of war with the Electoral Commission. And let's give you a few instances. In September 2020, prior to the election, during the voter exhibition exercise, Mr. Mahama referred to the EC as being incompetent. And an EC, he claimed, was the best on the continent, metamorphosed to become an incompetent EC, clearly because Mr. Mahama was in opposition. In October 2020, he questioned the professionalism and integrity of the EC, saying he will not accept any flawed election. That was even before 2020 election. After 2020 elections, NDC went to court, challenging the legitimacy 
of the results that were declared. He, they called their, their party for soldiers to be on the streets, demonstrate against the EC. We all saw what happened at the premises of the Electoral Commission. And then after the court case, they went to court. Let, don't let forget, Reland, that they went to court without any case. They rather wanted to make their case from the EC um, chair. And when the courts um, accepted the, the fact that the EC chair did not want to testify. We all saw what, 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 they, what they said. The then General Secretary, now the chairperson of the party, clearly told the whole world that they were not in court to, to say they had won any election. But that was the impression they had created and had put in the minds of, of their foot soldiers that they had won certain election. Rather, the EC had stolen the verdict for the new patriotic party. But in court, we all saw what happened. Rather, a complaint about not being served with bread, but they were giving tea with biscuits and all that. So we, we, we saw the, the, the symbolic um, display uh, in court um, after the 2020 elections. And just after the elections, in September, Mr. Mahama went to Kumasi during his thank you tour, and he spoke on Mercury FM, and he attacked the EC again, said the EC was on a war path with the NDC, said the EC had refused every proposal made by the NDC after the 2020 election. And in February 26, 2023, he was observing elections in Nigeria as one of the leaders of the West African Elders Forum. He said the presidential aspirants in Nigeria all came to one consensus that, yes, they indeed believed the integrity and professionalism of the EC in Nigeria. And then he went ahead, took to his Facebook page, and said he thought he could say the same about the Ghanaian EC. And once again, started attacking the EC chair. And just Last month, April 14, at the London School of Economics, he told and once again attacked the EC officials and tagged them politically biased and that this government was recruiting EC officials who are also having party affiliations to work at the EC. So these are just examples of, I mean, litany of attacks. Mr. Mahama had led the NDC to attacking the EC. And what you ask yourself, what really has changed? from a political party or a leader that believed that the EC was one of the best on the continent to metamorphosing to become an EC that warranted all these attacks. But we believe that in an election, you need to be able to prepare yourself, prepare your base, prepare your message. You've been in power before. Tell people what you have done. If indeed you believe you have records, go to the people and tell them your policies you are introducing. We in the MPP believe that we have worked enough. Education, health, agri, every aspect of the economy. We believe we have done so much and that is the message we are sending to the Ghanaian. And what Dr. Baumia seek to do as president, his tax reforms, his vision for education, his vision for the youth, his vision for the mining sector, his vision to make sure that we bring back the golden age of doing business, putting the youth at the forefront of governance and business in Ghana. Dr. Baumia is seeking to address the people and tell them what he can do as a president. That is what we believe that the NDC should be able to do, other than attacking the EC. In one breath, when you were in president, the EC was one of the best on the continent. You became an opposition leader, and all of a sudden, the EC is bad, EC is biased, EC is politically affiliated, and these things definitely will not augur well for our democracy, seeking to undermine the very institution that will man our elections, and he's moved to other realms as well, attacking the judiciary, left, right, center, for me. or to seek or create certain impression and create the base tell people that indeed the EC is Maliba, against I, the NDC at the end of the day, and would want to rig an election the for the summation of the party. actions of the electoral commission, even culminating in the by-election in Edrisso, the NDC even didn't participate. And there are key integrity issues that will lead to the erosion of trust of the electoral commission. And, and here is um, uh, um, the CDD head, H. Chrissy Prempe, raising issues about how the Electoral Commission has refused to um, critically assess the concerns that have been raised by political parties regarding the way they undertake their actions, appointment of individuals known to be members of the ruling party affiliated to it. Imani Ghana has also raised a number of actions as well. They talk about procurement uh, irregularities and then the abrupt means by which the Electoral Commission interfaces with the various political stakeholders. It's not an NDC problem, is it? Good morning to your viewers. Um, that is why when my friend was on the tangent of former President Mahama 
I was shocked at uh, his submission, whether we are talking about the same subject matter that you introduced. In any case, when President Mahama was praising the EC, he didn't appoint known MPP apparatchiks into the commission. Today, that commission is populated you mean by... No, you mean known NDC, not MPP? Okay, yeah. Known NDC apparatchiks into the EC. Today, that commission is populated by known MPP apologies. And I am not saying it. You have read some of these things from the civil society organizations. So if you have such an appointment where the institution has been bastardized, you, you, what do you expect? Tomorrow, if I am appointed into the EC, you think I won't be doing the bidding of the NDC? But this president called Nana Adodan Kwakufado is on a mission and has a policy of bastardizing critical state institutions. Look, in the judiciary, appointment of known MPP apparatchiks into the, 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 the system. And you sit here to say that, why should former President Mahama criticize the uh, EC when the, 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 the output of the EC is, it shows clearly that they are on one side? Why? You just mentioned the, um, what's his name? Uh, the doctor, the one who went to bribe people. No? The, the member of parliament. The member of parliament. Well, he, he said it was. Uh, since when? What? Since when? Just no mind. Since when did he Document. become a philanthropist? Since when did this man, my good friend Yanko, I met him at the airport when we were both traveling. Huh? Since when did he become a philanthropist? Now, if you want to know a person's mindset, the monies were packed in envelopes. It betrays his mindset. So he was working with envelopes, two. Uh, for instance, we saw the two different envelopes. If you intended to help somebody to get food to eat, do you give that person bundles of money in an envelope? Is that food money? What happened to a 50 series note or a 20 series note? to buy food, if that was your intention. Clearly, it was meant to corrupt the officials. And so, if you find the EC having dismissed those people from the police station and saying that we shouldn't be quick to judge, what was the purpose of that envelope with the money? They've not denied that it was money. Apart from that, this EC is suffering from confidence of the people of this country. The lack of confidence in the EC is so pronounced. By what means? And I will not blame the EC. I would blame the appointing authority. Because if you appoint such caliber of persons to the EC, Mama had the opportunity to do that, but he appointed people who were not connected in one way or the other to the NDC. That is a statesman. But look at the appointment, the nature of the appointment, the manner of appointment, the people who have been sent there, affiliation to the ND MPP. And so their conduct in office too has given them away. The electoral commission. Yes. When two machines were missing, they never came and told people of this country that that had happened. It took the NDC to as it were, blow out the, 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 that, 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 that act well, that, the, that, that took place. The machine became five. They became five later. Now, I am hearing from Imani Ghana that they, they sneaked out some BVD machines or so to unlicensed or uncertified company to, as it were, engage in recycling of the machines. Yes. The and this is, our, th this is our data. Me and you, our data, our information. If this were a serious country where they, 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 hold, they hold dear their data information, look, 
EC boss would have been gone by now. But we are in a country where the president and the government of the day is engaged in shenanigans which suppose which presupposes to people that this is a government that is not interested in the welfare of the people. So nobody will be sacked. You saw a video of Ejisu where an official mm. of the EC was staffing ballot boxes. There was a video. It's not, the Electoral Commission has come out to issue a statement that that video is not emanating from Ejisu. But that is an Electoral Commission's uh, 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 process. Apart from that, when they were doing this uh, regional, they, they were dividing the, the, the regions. Uh -huh. You saw in voter region, at the tail end, EC officials themselves from printing and putting in the ballot boxes. You mean the referendum? The referendum. EC officials themselves from printing the rest of the papers and putting in the in the ballot boxes. So you're saying there are series of actions which... Their own conduct gives them that way. And they don't seem to be interested in dealing with the matter when these things come up. And that's what one of the, the, the uh, civil society organizations mm. talks about. We've had constant complaints from the CDD as well. When as matters are raised, really this EC will not attempt to do anything to correct the situation. Today, what has happened to those guys who were picked? I was told that they are asked to go home and then report to the police. Is that how we do it? What if they abscond? What if we can't trace them again? So it's not about former President Mahama. It is about the conduct of the EC and how they go about doing their work, which is a subject matter of controversy. Never, never in the history of this world republic have we ever heard that a pin has got to meet in the EC? Never. The, the Electoral Commission says in the disposal of the BVDs, um, it, they, they had to go according to the recourse to law. But Imani Gan also says that there should have been proper audit of the machines before they were disposed of. No, but even the company that they send the machines to, is that company certified to do such a job? Because you want to deal with people whose credibility you can vouch for, and that this data will not go out and be used in a different way. That company, the EC board should be answering this question. The company that they dealt with was it certified to do that type of job? So I think that this EC has lost it. They are only there to do the bidding of the MPP. When you look at the appointments to the EC, it's clear to everybody. You don't need a subsidiary to tell you that this EC is there purposely to do the bidding of the MPP, period. Uh, uh, lawyer, lawyer, lawyer Jantua, there, there are key considerations when you do an assessment about what the concerns are. You look at even what the poll numbers are coming from Global Info Analytics and, and, and other civil society organizations, for which even Imani Ghana says that um, it has come to a conclusion that there are reasons why the current electoral commission has become pathologically misgoverned. And they even put out a brief. And subsequently, they even in recourse to the disposal of the BVDs, which, uh, as we all know, is used in the storage of the data because it used to collect the data when it comes to the registration and also at the time that we need it. It says that the Electoral Commission should stop lying, that they save $57.9 million from procurement of new BVDs, uh, etc. Because they are saying that they were just updated not too long ago. Um, and being from 2016 and 2019 at the total cost of $60 million. And so if you want to do the disposal, you have to make sure that you're, you're undertaking work, which is not causing extreme financial loss to the state, and at the same time it's transparent to all the key stakeholders, whether it's media, it's fair, foremostly also to the political parties, etc. Um, how 
fair is that an argument? Good morning to our viewers. Good morning to my fellow panelists. We are deviating from the main topic that mm. we are going, going into. You see, one challenge we have in this country is the question of transparency and accountability. Today, I heard the finance minister talk about they are going to increase expenditure in social uh, uh, matters mm. to do with uh, the general public. How social you, spending. It's social spending. Mm. How are you going to increase expenditure on social spending when we know we don't have the money? We'll collect more taxes. From where? In economics, that's what? If, we, if we collected more taxes, wouldn't we be able to solve our problems? Will we not be able to solve our problems? The president came to tell us that the doomsaw is over. It's not going to happen again. Everything is sorted. Well, we know the Doomso situation has got to do with finance. Have they told us where they are finding the money from to solve this particular issue? And have they been able to tell us going forward it's not likely to happen again because we've covered everything and everything is kosher? It's a question of transparency. And it's also a question of the fact that at the present moment, government cannot put its hands in, what do you call it, uh, 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 spend, spend willy-nilly in an election year. So, so far as I can see, they are finding ways and means to make money everywhere to do that. Because SML, I don't understand it. Where it comes from. This one too we are talking about. Where does it come from? BRVs. Eh? BVDs. BVDs. We had for the last election. When was it? 20... 2020. Yeah, there were some purchases that were made. And they're doing, they're doing more purchases. Don't you think it's up to the Electoral Commission to converse with the people of Ghana? The Electoral Commission is a huge, huge, huge institution that can create mayhem in this country. How, how do you mean? Uh, what do it's you mean? an independent how, body. What do you mean? How do I? What do you mean? What do I mean? What do I mean? How do I mean? Hasn't Electoral Commissions created problems in countries? Well, that's true. Where we've had even near to wars, having to be seen it. Gabon, etc. Yeah. And I always say the electoral commissioner should be a mother to Ghanaians. She should be a mother to Ghanaians. When NDC decided that they are not going to come to what do you call it, uh, 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 IPAC anymore, what happened? Did she even appeal to them? Did she say no? You are an important ingredient in. The, the politics of this country, and we definitely need you here. But the Constitution would have created this problem. Why is it the president who should nominate the Electoral Commission? Why? Those president powers, something should be done about it. But let me come to the major, the major mm. subject that we are talking Pose about. Just so the parliamentarian. He's a parliamentarian, isn't he? Yes. How long has he been a parliamentarian for? I've seen him this stem. But was he there last year? The, no, sorry. Pre-2020. Pre-2020. Uh, yeah, pre-2020. Pre 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 yes. I, I can't confirm. So I asked yeah. the question. When he was leaving his house in the morning, did he have an intention of doing what he was doing? You mean Dr. Kinsley Nyako? Yes. Did he pack the envelopes and put it in his pocket because he had the intention of doing what he was doing? Or was it on the spare of the moment thing? That he went up to the electoral commission uh, officers and asked them whether they were hungry. And the code of conduct of the electoral commission officers, are they supposed, when somebody makes such an offer, are they supposed to accept that offer? Do they not have ethics? Should they not have told the gentleman that, please, we can't accept this. It is not in our code of conduct. We are fed by the electoral commission when we come on these particular uh, uh, by-elections. So please, keep your money. Did they say it? So if they didn't say it and he put the money on the table, why won't, they, why won't people insinuate that it was a bribe? And if it was a bribe, eh, what was that bribe meant for? Was it meant to skewer? Was it meant to skewer? Was it meant to skewer some counting or what? What was it meant for? But he's a parliamentarian. Mm. He knows the laws. 
He is a legislator. He should know better. He should know better. And in, in situations like this, I don't expect Doc to come here and be talking about John Mahama and this and this and giving us an epistle. That's not what I expect from him. Did he do wrong? If he did wrong, the fact that he's in your party, be able to tell us that yes, he did wrong. He shouldn't have done that. Where does uh, John Mahama come in here? Where does, uh, what do you call it, President Kufuadu come in here? Where? where? W were they there when they was given the money? Did they hold his hand? He said, man, put the money on the table for them. The question is the individual who did the act. What was his intention? As they say in law, what was his mens rea? And why did the electoral commission officers also accept? Why did they even tell, no, we haven't eaten? It goes to show, maybe this happens. Maybe they've been briefed. If anybody comes and puts money on the table, take it. I, I find it appalling that such things happen. Look, wisdom. From an MP? Yes, from an MP. So Wis he's just giving listen, them listen, the listen. documents. Wisdom, man, no man, wisdom, no wisdom appeals to the mind. Folly appeals to senses and emotions. And this, electra, this uh, parliamentarian, he let folly appeal to his senses. If he let wisdom appeal to his mind, this, he won't even have attempted doing what he did. Now look, if others are taking you on and saying it's a bribe, eh, who are we to say it's not a bribe? When you say, oh, I just went, you know, because I felt they hadn't eaten. Is it your responsibility? Is that what you're supposed to do as a parliamentarian? And even if you went and you realized they hadn't eaten, isn't you, aren't you supposed to go to the, 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 the not even restaurant, there, there's a head there, and all yes. the officers. So, so, so we have a, a yeah, all the officers a, there. A registration yes. officer who supervises. Yeah, who supervises? Mm. Go to him. An electoral commission officer. Yes, who go to him and say, why haven't your gentleman eaten? And if he doesn't give you a good answer, you are a parliamentarian. Call the electoral commissioner and report. Say so the men have been here all these hours and they haven't had anything to eat. Why do you dip your hands in your pocket and put money on the table, especially in an election? How does that happen? It goes to show, let's open our eyes. All of us should open our eyes. And you see the impudence of a dead cockroach. He did it in the blare, what you call it, of everybody. If he didn't have some kind of, or he thought that it was MPP thing, so it was okay. Is that what the MPP does? Doc, is that what you guys do? You, you go, I, 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 don't, I don't know, I, I don't, I, because I don't understand it. Should it doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> they graduated make, him to give It doesn't we. make sense to they me. Saying that was the word it doesn't make sense to they me. They are doing worse than that. They are now giving we, we pack. This is elections. Elections that everybody I is in there. Yes, the NDC didn't stand, but it made it so important because of the individuals who were standing on behalf of the MPP. Going by what you're seeing, actions of officers or assigns of the EC, other political stakeholders, in the elections we've seen, especially from 2020, eight people dying, for example. So nobody's accounted for. We've seen by elections. And now this. What are your fears for December 2024 if nothing is done in holding the Electoral Commission more accountable? as well as other institutions that should make it more responsible. Is the Electoral Commission not aware that our elections have been monetized? Are they not aware? And if our elections have been monetized, what are they doing about it as an Electoral Commission? And that is my fear. Come 2024, where is the money coming from? You don't think we should ask the question? In the, 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 the previous elections that were held with the MPP parliamentary and the presidential. Did we not see money changing hands? Plenty. What has the EC said about it or done about it? Isn't it against the law? Shouldn't they take the upper hand? Shouldn't they? Or is it because it's their government in power? And why do I say government in power? Who put the electoral commissioner there? Look, we should look at this constitution very, very uh, uh, well. We should look at it again especially the president's powers because it's not helping us you need you need you need an electoral commissioner who is what open to everybody 
not one-sided. Sometimes when you hear some of the things the electoral commissioner says, you ask yourself, ah, is she an MPP person? And it doesn't help us. It wouldn't help us. Um, Dr. Bing, at the end of the day, we've seen appointment to the Electoral Commission where people blatantly are communicating for the government, uh, governing party. They even use uh, first singular pronouns, um, others as well, to, to claim ownership and then participation. At the end of the day, they are supposed to be in an independent institution that's going to be a referee for an election that's for all. And then, and then also you get a science of the commission and they don't seem to, like what has had transpired in the past, become more accountable in terms of their relationship with stakeholders like civil society, whether it's the media as well as a political party. Even though you're a member of the governing party, shouldn't that be a cause for worry for you? The electoral commission is independent. But we have individuals who have been no, appointed. There is who, no record. Who are, there is no record. Who are known, there is no who are record known of affiliates the of the governing party. That, that that's not no, fair, no, is it? No, no affiliate in terms of what is any of them having any political party card to show that they are a member mm. of the MPP or the NDC. We 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 had rumors that the previous EC chair once contested for primaries in the NDC. We saw such that, posters that's around. Not true. But that's not true. But it is true today. Yes, that because the, the people EC members yes. are having MP that is, party that, cards. That yes. is not true, and this but, is categorical. But it is, it is clear today, it is true today, that the EC members, the officials of the EC are having MPP party card. Do we have any, any, any record commission. of such? There's no record of such. How would you associate the EC chair and her deputies to be affiliates of the New Patriotic Party? Simply because you're on the other side today. Mr. Jantua, what will cause the mayhem is not the Electoral Commission doing its job. It is with the sentences and the pronouns you are making. The pronouncements you are making. That one. That's because they feel their party is in power. You just, you just associated the EC officials with the new patriotic party and the government. It's their actions. When you it's make such statements. When you make such statements. It's their actions. Statement. When you make such statements. He's directing it at me. So no I'm problem. also When you make such statements. When you make such statements. On platforms like go this. on the streets and, and you ask. Are associating go on the streets the and ask Ghanaians. I said, the go, on the, will cause the go on the streets and These ask. These are the statements that will cause the mayhem. Go on the streets and so ask. So when we get the opportunity, like you were telling me, not to have gone on the tangent I went, I didn't expect you either to sit on TV three platform and talk Ghanaians that the EC feels their government is in power. Of course, I think you need to retract that I'm statement. Not retracting. How would you? That how would you what, get this opportunity? That is, that is what and, and associate the electoral commission of the country, Mr. Jantua. I said that is their actions. The CPP is an encromise. Oh please, Sitting on don't this go down that line. Telling us today. To what, what, what has he done that you attack? You attack? You attacking I'm his attack. person? He's Did he attack, attack you? He's, he's Dr. telling me. Dr. He's telling please, me. please, he's please be respectful and I am fair very, to I am very your co-panelists here. And, I am and I, very no, 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 I am no, very no, no, no. I am being no, very, very, Dr. Obeying, please do not very, very attack or Mr. try Jantua is telling assign me. Mr. personal is telling invectives me. and vituperation to your co-panelists. It's, it's a very me. respectful thing to Mr. do. Mr. Jantua is telling me. It's a very respectful thing to do. I have gone on the tangent. I went, and I'm also reminding him. That why would you also sit here and propagate falsehood that the electoral commission today believes it is their government in power? Go and ask the, the electoral commission Ghana. is MPP. Open the phone line. The electoral commission is President Kufuado's government. That okay. is what he seeks to say. Okay. And that is where I have a problem. Okay. That we don't have to sit on a platform like this, bastardize our institutions. Actions we don't have speak to do louder that. Than words. We don't have to do that. Actions so I can go words. ahead and make certain inference because of your actions. We actions don't have to do that on a platform like this. Now, moving on. Mr. Maliba, where in the world would a political party like the MPP go and be sharing with to people? Ah. Jawasam. Clearly, we, 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 we don't have to you go once and, again can, can, can on, the, on, this, on this tangent. Can you how, how can mm. you come and sit here and say that MPP went to share with to people in our stronghold? For our own people to go and smoke weed, <laughs> get high, to come and cause mayhem in our own stronghold. It beats any logical imagination. There will be their report. Now, <laughs> moving on, that MPP people, they saw MPP. They said they came. MPP they said they came. They gave them 100 they Ghana They saw CDs. MPP functionaries. They gave them 100 they Ghana They saw Ghana MPP CDs functionaries and bundle, doling out and bundle, weed, and, and, doling and out bundle. cannabis. They saw MPP functionaries doling out cannabis to people. To go and smoke the weed to come and do what? In an election in our own stronghold. How would you explain this to anyone? If we were to win an election 
in a place we don't perform, an election in a place we don't have good numbers, then maybe, maybe people might entertain some thoughts. But Ashanti region, a Jusso, where our previous candidate got over 65,000 votes, and you are telling me we said with people before them to go and vote for it. It's an insult to the people of Ashanti region, that they are, as, they are so cheap that we will use weed to influence them to go and vote. They well, deserve well, the an apology. Actually just they less deserve, than, a little less they, than they deserve, they deserve It's not up to 65, They deserve though. an apology to say that the people of Ashanti region, Ejusu people, are so cheap, in quotes, that the MPP has to convince them with weed for them to go and vote. Why? Ashanti people don't do better. They don't care about schools. They don't care about roads. They don't care about fiscal infrastructure, education. They, they, they rather require we to being... go and vote. <laughs> now, moving on. This is this an Afrobarometer report. It is clear. Can do you know, I, do you know, do, do, do you can know the Afrobarometer report? Can I, can I finish? The Afrobarometer report, as published latest 2024, does indicate that only one third, 33% of Ghanaians sampled say they trust the Electoral Commission of Ghana somewhat or a lot. The, it is, and it is the lowest trust level recorded in more than two decades of Afrobarometer service. If Mr. Jantwas is here and tax the EC as MPP, if Mr. Jantwas is here, Mr. Jantwa did not and tax, did not, and tax the did EC, not undertake refer, or partake, refer partake, to them, partake, partake in the Afro Barometer report. To them, I've had, I've refer hit the to wrongness. them <laughs> as they hit the thinking wrongness. their government is in power. This will mm. be the result. Because Mr. Jantwa is telling the whole of Ghana and everyone watching us today that the, in, the EC Open the is, phone is politicized. Open the phone and that lines. is where the problem is. Open so the these lines. things have the propensity of trickling down and influencing certain people, provided the research is anything to go by. But once again, we will not deviate from whatever is happening. We know the tricks of the NDC, attack institutions, attack the EC, let the EC become like, like a monster in the eyes of the Ghanaian to prepare their base to reject the impending doom they are about to suffer. They did say before the 2020 elections, they called the EC names, they politicized the EC, they bastardized the EC, and in the end, they called their supporters to go on the street, to go and demonstrate, because the EC had changed certain values. Now, to end, Mr. Mahama said something very profound. Prior to the 2020 elections, prior to the 2016 elections, sorry, when the MPP was making sure that things were done properly by the EC. And, he, and I quote, lately, it has become fashionable for the largest opposition party to discredit the EC. All kinds of accusations, including unprintable insults held at the person of the EC chair have become normal, says Mr. Mahama. This is unacceptable, but for students of politics, we can see the strategy behind it, he said. It is an old trick in the book. Vilify the referee and reduce his credibility in the eyes of the public when you can tell you are losing the match. This creates the platform when you lose your contest, the outcome of the match becomes rejectable. And this is the underlining force of all the winding that is taking place against the EC at the very step of the electoral processes. And yet, the EC chair, the same voters registered processes, the same party has participated in by-elections and won in this, in the, and this indeed is a paradox. So Mr. Mahama, the NDC, what Mr. Maliba is doing here today, what Mr. Mahama has been doing from 20, before 2020 till now, what Mr. Jantwa is helping the NDC to do all is to prepare Please. the Please. minds of the I'm NDC not talking supporters from the NDC. I'm talking for to myself reject the impending doom that is coming at them. Indeed, they do not have a message. I thought when you get the opportunity, you rather explain to people why you think we should be eating at 2 a.m. If you, I thought when you get the opportunity, you rather explain to people what the Nkoko Bo Nketi means. I thought you rather explain to people what it means to say when you want to remark Wasi papers. I thought when you get the opportunity, you tell the people what you mean when you say our B's or our SSS students do not have the capacity to pass the exams they pass. And your policy is to come and remark our papers. Your policy is to have a black stars that will be mandated by local players. Your policy is Nkoko Bo Nketi Nketi. I thought you go to the people and explain to them what is Nkoko Bo Nketi Nketi. I thought you go there to the people and explain to them what you mean by remarking Wasi papers. But they will not do that. They just want to prepare the minds of their people for the impending doom. And Mr. Mahama means no worse prior to the 2016 elections when he categorically made such statements. So we understand the game, like Mr. Mahama said. It is all geared towards vilifying the EC, run down the institution for people to reject the upcoming elections, the fate that's about to befall the National Democratic Congress. But we believe, as a party, as a government, 
that you should go to the polls telling people your record in government, telling people what you did when you were a vice president, and telling That's people what you can me. do when you get the opportunity to serve the people. And that is what the MPP is doing. That is what Dr. Baumia is on the platforms everywhere he is, making sure that he's telling the people his vision, his aims, what he wants to Mr. do. Mr. Maliba, at the, at the end of the, day, the, of the day, what will be your considerable view that needs to be actions taken by the Electoral Commission, which could, for example, reverse some of these perceptions that citizens have? For example, I just told you about how it's only 33% of the sampled views representing the whole of the voter population who either tr uh, trust or just have some trust for the Electoral Commission prior to this big election we're coming up to? In a minute, I'll answer that question. But you see, what is the policy of Dr. Bahmu Baumia? What is the policy of that Mumfasti Enumame? Mumfasti Enumame. What is the policy of Mumfasti Enumame? You come to sit here, you've run down the economy, the TUC on May Day told you in your face how Mohammed's administration was far better than your administration, companies are winding up, Apart from the company I've been mentioning here, Glovo. Glovo is winding up. Mm -hmm. huh? Companies are winding up. You come and sit here. You see, these communicators are the reason why when Akufado goes to some communities, chiefs refuse to get up and, and shake his hand and he's worried. Because they are angry with such kind of communication. Why? Bossman was a patron of their Tescom. That is connected to the MPP. Api Ahine was in the MPP Bono uh, executive. You sit and say that, well, do they have party cards? Look, I am saying that the next elections, this election is coming. It's a watershed elections. If you are a, a presidential candidate and an EC commissioner, announces the final results five times. Results transmogrified five times, which has never happened in any part of Africa. Okay. Not even Ghana. The whole of Africa, where an electoral commissioner comes out to announce election results five times. Would you have confidence? You, 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 doctor, you sitting here, would you have confidence in that electoral commission? Where the Electoral Commission announces five times results, then you say that Mahama. You are in your eighth year, yet you cannot stop mentioning Mahama's name. You have created mess in this economy. You have bastardized institutions. Institutions cannot talk again. Institutions that were a bulwark of our democracy Is that my answer question? Have, now, have now become uh, this, please stale. Please answer question. Yeah. Now come to your question. That is why the NDC brought about a reform which says that the EC is a regulator and at this time conducting elections. Can we assign them to only the role of conducting elections and have an institution that regulates political parties so that like, like uh, the distance, the PURC. You see, the PRC is sanctioning the ECG. ECG so that that regulator can sanction EC and they'll sit up. Now you have the EC being a player and a regulator. So you can see that in this current EC, they are treated towards one political party. But if the regulator was there, how many, how many, how many uh, uh, offices do you have? If your offices are not enough, we'll close you down. Um, two. As a regulator, we want to find out whether the political parties are keeping up to their accounts. Because after every election year, you have to provide uh, audited accounts. Are they doing that? This regulator will be the one responsible for the conduct of political parties. Mr. Malibu, why do you want to create parallel institutions? It's not a parallel. PRC is not parallel to ECG. Well, that's true. That's what I want you to know. That's why I've given that example. Yeah, but, but the Electoral Commission is clothed with the powers based on what we have in the Constitution. The Electoral Commission is clothed with the powers of conducting elections. But regulating political parties is what I'm talking about. Political parties go about bribing people. 
that regulator would have sanctioned the political party. We have evidence. There's evidence of people giving we be giving we in the Jusu. People who, natives of Ejusu, Ejusu, natives of Ejusu, said that MPP gave them we to smoke and go and vote. If you have a regulator, the regulator will sanction the MPP. So that's my answer to your question. So for him to sit here and say that the people of Ashanti know why, well, what actually surprised some of us was that you would do this to your own people by giving them we. Well, uh, how do you mean? Is how do you mean? mean? He was saying that that's their stronghold, they won't do that. And yes. I'm saying that, that the flip that's side, his argument. That's the flip side of the he argument. Said that those those vi those people captured in the video, as reported, were lying. Yes, uh, that would be my yes. and they are not and my they are, summary of and they are, and they are not they are not natives of Ejisu. The flip side of it is that his argument is that I am also surprised that you do this to people in your in your in your, in your stronghold by giving them we. Where are we going with this conduct of the MPP? You bribe election officials. This is not the first time. You know uh, uh, what is his name? John Boy did that in a in a in a uh, 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 this place. I said enough. He was caught on tape. John Boy did. For them, the illegal acquisition of wealth is now to be used to buy the elections, and that is their mentality. So don't be surprised that you will be seeing more of this. The argument is that elections are one of the polls. That, that's a counter argument to the argument you just posed right now. No, but you, give, you want to give an uh, easy official some money. We know some of the, uh, the guy, one of the guys they give the money was a ballot issuer. You know what a ballot issuer can do? Have you, have you contested election in, the, in, 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 our, in school before where the ballot issuer can tear four of the papers and give you to go into that small room? So you go and give a ballot issuer that fat envelope and you expect that he will be clear in his mind to do the work. And so I am saying it's that the me. EC have a duty to, as it were, make themselves look good and it's only day and day alone. Gentile will not come here and sit if they hadn't announced five different results. What was he going to say? What was Jantua going to say if Jim Mensah hadn't announced five different Mr. results? Jantua. So I think the EC has not covered itself in glory, and that is the problem. Now, now Mr. Jantua, what will be five expectations of you of the EC in the run-up to the 2024 general elections? What will be your expectation of them by way of their posture based on uh, what you've seen so far that you think should be at variance to that so that that could turn the tide when it comes to the trust and the atmosphere that needs to be created prior to the 2024 general elections based on what you've seen so far at least the ec <clears throat> went back on their word with regards to the indelible ink mm. they went back on their word with a few things huh? they should be magnanimous enough to be balanced, to be balanced in everything they do. Look, politicians only come for four years. And if the people of Ghana feel that you've done a good job, they'll give you another four years. When politicians get power to rule, huh, they shouldn't now overtake our institutions and make our institutions feel as if they are useless and that they are gods. Why do I say this? Where is the Public Services Commission today? The Public Services Commission should be a strong body, strong, strong body, who are responsible for interviewing people who want to be electoral commissioners, interviewing people who want to be ECG chair, interviewing people who want to be XYZ. That is where it should come from. So, when so the president, we need massive when, reforms. When the president was taking the electoral commissioner, did we know whether she had any experience? And let's even talk about all the electoral commissioners who have come in this fourth republic. Did they have any experience in this kind of work? Did they all not come and learn on the job? Mm. And when they get in there and they don't know, they don't have the experience, isn't it the people in there who have the experience who tend to coach them? And if they coach them, they coach them in the wrong way. What happens? 
How can electoral commissioner mention five different times results? How? That is where the mistrust started from. That is where the mistrust started from. Because Ghanaians couldn't understand. How can that be possible? How? <clears throat> For me, I believe the president's powers with regards to nominations of heads of parastatals should be looked at. Because definitely, the president will choose somebody he knows. The president will choose somebody he feels would do his bidding. He'll do that. And it's happened so many times. Because he, this is our president. His main focus first is politics before country. Yeah. That's his main focus. Yeah. His main focus is how, how do I place the MPP in a strategic position before country? Yeah. It's happened over and over and over again. And it has to stop somewhere. And it's only through the constitution we can do it. You know what I mean? 96 members of your party come and tell you that move a minister of finance and you tell them what? Do you respect them? You don't respect them. So, so far as I can see, politicians tend to overtake the responsibility of our institutions and that is a challenge and it has to change. All right. Well, we still have Kasha goes with the Shoko Stan 439. I have a couple of messages so let me just quickly run through them. Just them before you go. And somebody, then we'll go some, on to the some, next one. One of the viewers I should ask, Doc, uh, Mr. Nyako said the develop was in money, it was documents. Yes, first. Uh, exactly. So what was in the documents? I have a question for you too. Mm. What was in the, I mean, this, I'm not asking you. It's, it's, a, it's, a, a, viewer. Someone too. it's a viewer. It's a viewer asking It's from a colleague too. The he's, colleague. Yes. I don't know this man. He, he, I don't know this person too. Can I? Can I? He's can a I? CPP. He's asking mm. why you don't speak for the C, CPP when you come on oh, set. Please. Have they brought the CPP? Have they brought the Have they brought the CPP? Have they brought the CPP? Have they brought the CPP? That's a question for you too. Ah. Ask those right, who okay, bring okay, it up. Okay, 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 are we talking CPP? I have this. I have this one. I have this one from Backman. Backman says it's obvious that Dr. Kinslinyakun's action was premeditated, as the cash was already contained in an envelope. Well. Uh, he was just unfortunate to have been caught at that point because the camera of the reporter was live. And then oh, also I have this one from uh, Landlord Borga D. Line. It says, um, when you look at our current EC, the less we talk about them, the better. All right. Now, um, Akwisi Boating. So Akwisi Boating in Shaiso says, for all the things that we have to talk about, a lot of development has taken place. There's a PAT, for example. We should be talking about those things. The Electoral Commission, truly, if you look at its history, has matured as an institution. Where the actions of the EC and its assigns go against stated norms, not only law, it will erode the trust. But the government of Nanadu Dankwe Kufuado and Dr. Mahmoud Ubamia has done nothing to the Electoral Commission. The constitution says the president should appoint. And so if the president appoints someone that is closest to him or the party, we have to interpret it based on law. All right. Uh, this one also. So the president could have appointed a moron. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> it's the actions. So this one is coming from Nat, who says, um, I love the composure of lawyer Kwame Jantwa, uh, very matured. And also we have many others. This one um, is coming from Ade Koka, who says, we have to be decorous in our communication. If you have and meet people who are experienced, you also have to be in the same mood, knowing that you're educating and then also informing people. All right. Now, 